This was the gunfight which marked David Gray's last moments, captured by a three national news camera situated above the Aramoana township. After 23 hours of being stalked by the police, David Gray went down fighting. Shot five times by police, including through the forehead and near the heart, he still reached for his gun. It took four police to handcuff him. 20 minutes later, David Malcolm Gray was dead. The nightmare began outside David Gray's house. It was there after an argument that he shot and killed his neighbour and only friend, Gary Holden. He then stormed into the Holden house where the children were hiding. He shot Rira Bryson, Jasmine and Chiquita Holden, the only one of the trio to survive. Gray then set fire to the Holden house just moments after Chiquita made her bid for freedom. David Gray came into our house. He came into the lounge where Rewa, Jasmine and I were sitting. He was carrying a gun. He didn't say anything at all. The gun had a big black curling thing underneath it. Then David shot me with the gun. The bullet hit my tummy and my elbow. It hurt me and straight away I ran out. I saw Dad lying on the grass between David's garage door and the road. Dad was lying face down. With Gary Holden's house well ablaze, Gray continued his rampage. He shot and killed another ten people, including children, grandparents and police officer Stuart Guthrie. Today, the complaints authority suggested the police would have been better off using soft-nosed dum-dum bullets instead of the hard-nosed ones they used to stop Gray. Soft-nosed bullets disintegrate when they hit a target instead of passing straight through. It was an area of concern. The, the use of soft-nosed bullets was addressed by Sir Clinton Roper a number of years ago and found to be quite appropriate. And it was surprising that the, uh, the anti-terror squad weren't using that, uh, that type of uh, bullet. It wasn't a great issue there, but the issue of soft-nosed ammunition has now been resolved and will be used by those squads in future. The report singled out two constables for praise. Terry Van Turnout and Dave Weir have been commended for their bravery in rescuing the wounded. Melanie Reid, 3 National News.